WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Our weather story has been about this surface low that is still going to be around with us as we head into your Tuesday and even sticking around for parts of Wednesday, but it's going to keep things a bit cloudy and dreary and unfortunately a little soggy. Uh, we're talking about sunny skies eventually trickling in as we head closer to Thursday. We're going to round out the work week with some warmer numbers as well. And unfortunately, we're going to be watching another cold front that's going to slide through the area as we head towards the weekend. And that's going to bring us some chilly mornings, some of the coldest air of the season so far to start off on Sunday. But right now, the story is this surface low. Once again, heavy rain going to be possible for folks that are on the eastern shore, but some of those showers are going to progress westward. So that means we're all going to see a little bit of that action as we head through the day tomorrow. Intermittent, much like what we've seen the last few days, starting off the 7 o'clock hour with most of the rain on the eastern shore, but some of that will be spreading west, expecting our lunch hour to have some isolated showers that are going to be widely scattered scattered and they're going to increase in coverage as we head towards the evening commute before those showers start to taper off as we head into the evening. It's going to be a cloudy, damp and unfortunately cold breezy day as well as winds are going to be out of the north and it's not just the north wind. It's a north wind that's going to be gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour at times. Once again, this is going to be the story here, but the eastern shore is where we start to see some of those higher wind gusts uh, as we head into the afternoon. It's going to have a net chilling impact. And we're going to start off the morning with temperatures that are going to be in the 40s. So it's going to be chilly as the kids are into the bus stop. Not only will they need that jacket, but they're going to also want the umbrella. As those showers are going to plague the afternoon forecast, temperatures struggle to get into the lower 50s for the afternoon. We said 54 degrees is our forecast high. 54 is also the coldest afternoon high that we've ever seen on October 4th. So if we max out at 54, we'll be tying that record that was set back in 2010. Meanwhile, more of those showers are going to be moving in as that low continues to spin counterclockwise. I'm expecting less moisture on Wednesday than what we see tomorrow as that low will start to eventually slide towards the east and pull away from the coastline. But the cloud deck is large enough that we're still going to have those cloudy skies. Temperatures do rebound a little bit as we head into the afternoon. I do expect us to get into the low to mid 60s. And as far as rain is concerned, we're talking about another one to two inches widespread across the region with some isolated pockets hitting three. I think the higher totals will be along and east of the I-95 corridor, mainly, unfortunately, the eastern shore. And then we're dealing with this cooler air building in to start off your Saturday morning. That's going to be unseasonably cold and only going to get cold again on Sunday morning. So we have some days that are going to be nice to be out and about. That's going to be Thursday and Friday where we get a good amount of sunshine and temps in the 70s. Even the weekend afternoons are going to be OK. Just the mornings are going to be a bit chilly. All right, Patrick. Well, tick.